Now let's uh, check the rules regarding the set of initials. Either publishers can punctuate all or they may not punctuate after the initials. Or sometimes uh, publishers do punctuate only when the lowercase letters are used. When they use the uppercase, they do not punctuate. Now, um, abbreviation which consists of initials should have a point after each initial or no point at all. For example, P dot P dot M. That can be one way to um, write the abbreviation which consists of the initials. Or it can be written as P, P, M without any point. However, it would be wrong to write P, P, M dot. That is not um, advisable. That is not um, and that is not the rule that is followed. Now, small capitals can be used uh, instead of full capitals for initials. Um, now, when small capitals are used, you should remember that if that is followed by proper names, I have given an example here, U.S. Uh, Library of Congress. Now, uh, if I use uh, small capitals there instead of um, full capitals, then it would look incongruous. Okay, so there it is better to use uh, full capitals instead of small capitals. Now, avoid the use of apostrophe in plurals. Now, NCOs, we are supposed to uh, use an apostrophe, but um, uh, the, the, the house style uh, is that it is better to avoid the use of apostrophe. So, apostrophes are not used for plurals. Now, usually we use lowercase for AM and PM except in US style. In US style, it is not the lowercase that is used for AM and PM. It is the uppercase. Uh, usually, uh, in uh, British style, it is the lowercase that is used. Now, uh, talking about punctuation after abbreviation. Now, sometimes a sentence might end with a punctuation, for example, AM or PM. Okay, now uh, the, the abbreviation itself will be having a point. So, there is no need to add an extra point to suggest that it is the end of the sentence. One point will perform both the functions. Now, coming to italics. Now, you need to certain um, ab abbreviations will be italicized. So, which are those abbreviations that are italicized? Uh, those uh, italic words, those words which are written in italics such as books or journal names. So, their abbreviation will be italicized. Now, uh, uh, sometimes there can be this Roman italic distinction as well. Uh, for example, when we refer to the, um, the, uh, the author, okay, uh, we use um, uh, the, uh, the Roman and to refer to the work, we use uh, the italics. You have an example there, Sophocles, Oedipus, Colonius. Now, Sophocles, the name of uh, the author, uh, is uh, Roman. And uh, um, Colonius, uh, the abbreviation for that, Oedipus Colonius, that is italicized because it is the name of the work. Now, um, whenever we have a list of abbreviations it should be um, it should uh, be the same as that of the abbreviation that is used in the text okay so that is something that has to be strictly followed now capitalization at the beginning of the footnote okay now there are certain uh, some authors who prefer to use the lower case at the beginning of the footnote um, i have uh, given there two instances one is example the other one is that is so instead of capital capitals um, the author has used the lower case there so whenever the lower case is retained that has to be explained in your style sheet uh, 
for the for the benefit of the typesetter as well as the proofreaders or else they will be confused about it so whenever the lower case is used it has to be mentioned the author has to mention it in the style sheet now let's talk about individual abbreviations that are used now ampersand um, is used for bibliographical references uh, in all other cases we use and Okay, now there is also an exception for that uh, whenever you have names or firms or statute references, uh, for example, Samson and Samson. Uh, in uh, those, uh, uh, when we refer to the names of firms, we use uh, the ampersand, otherwise, we use and. Okay, now CCA approx. Now CCA, they're all abbreviations for uh, circa. Okay, now uh, whenever we use uh, uh, c c a or approximately all these means um, uh, all these mean approximately and uh, you can uh, use any one of them uh, but it should be italicized now uh, when you use uh, example etc that is or viz okay now they are should they should all be written in roman now uh, F, 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 uh, et seek, uh, meaning uh, following. Okay, uh, so whenever these uh, terms are used, let's see what has to be done. Uh, for example, you have uh, page 95F, it means page 95 and the following page. Now, uh, page 95, et spec, meaning page 95 and an unspecified number of following pages now um, you you also use ibid uh, op set loc set idem edem etc okay now ibid uh, means uh, the the uh, the reference uh, that had just been cited okay now op set lock set idem edem all uh, uh, all mean uh, the same as um, ibid so uh, it is best to use EBIT instead of uh, the other abbreviations. Now, in legal cases, we use V dot to refer um, to versus, okay, or it means in opposition. Uh, for example, uh, the parliament versus the people, uh, something like that. There, um, uh, it is V is usually Roman and the names of the parties are italicized and i have another symbol that is used there uh, the symbol uh, that is given there is commonly used in american style to mean number but then all are not familiar with it therefore use no dot now let's talk about spacing many publishers have rules about uh, spacing common abbreviations such as uh, personal initials now you have, I have given there uh, examples of closed up uh, initials as well as spaced initials like A, B, B, C, example, that is PhD. They're all closed up um, without any space. But then there are examples for spaced initials as well uh, like et al, AD 1605, figure 23, uh, page 22. So there, there is a space between um, the initials. Okay, so those are certain uh, examples uh, that I've given for um, rules about um, common abbreviations such as uh, personal initials. Now, let's talk about uh, the list of uh, abbreviations. Now, um, sometimes there are a, a, there can be a lot of unfamiliar um, abbreviations in a book and uh, that might appear from time to time and then uh, it is better to compile a set of abbreviations, a, a list of abbreviations. Now, uh, all the abbreviations that we are giving in the list should, um, should be the same as that of the text and they should be written in the alphabetical order. Now, if there are abbreviations used both in the text as well as in the footnote, it is better to uh, include this list of abbreviations at the end of the preliminary pages. 
but then there are certain um, authors who also prefer to include it uh, in the in the beginning of bibliography okay so that is about uh, the rules regarding um, abbreviations we have also discussed about uh, the rules regarding initials um, and uh, we discussed about um, uh, the use of punctuations use of full points etc in today's class uh, we shall be discussing more about uh, rules related to copy editing in the coming classes so uh, see you again um, in, our, in my next video. Till then, thank you.